Hey guys, <clears throat> first of all I would like to apologize for uh, uh, my rant from last episode. I was having a little bit of a bad day and I don't know I just kind of got tipped over the edge. Um, so yeah, sorry about that guys. I will try and be better from now on. Anyway, uh, so I've, I've gotten fired up again. I'm all excited and whatnot. Um, between now and last episode, I did a little bit of derping around with Computercraft. Uh, so now, if you guys have been using my updater program for the list of programs that I end up using, please keep in mind that like some of the programs I haven't written, like they're not all my programs, and they are just um, programs that I've found to be useful that are from the Computercraft wiki. And I think I've tried to add their names to the programs if I forgot to, or if they're not in there, but, well, yeah, anyway. So, you know, you have your update Spark program, you would do your USP, and it would say, which updater would you like to use? Controls, use arrow keys to move up and down and enter to select. So, yay! There's only two options, though. So, like, if you push up while you're on turtle updater, it just goes straight down to computer updater. So that's kind of nice. Um, if I try and use or turtle updater, it will cause errors, um, so that's something that you don't want to do, but you are able, let's actually just prove that I can do this, we're doing turtle updater, it should crash, attempt to index blah 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 a nil value, which, you know, it's trying to say um, how much fuel it's got, but uh, it obviously doesn't have any fuel, so what you do is you just go USP again, you go down to computer updater, it will go do all that, at the moment it's only got the startup here, so it changes it to say, you know, hey there, I'm this computer, and I'm X number computer. And the only programs that my computers have, if we go look into uh, the Spark program folder, is Lockdoor. And that's just the one that I've been using around up here. This one. At the moment it's just set to um, <laughs> password terminated. No, it is not terminated. Someone did get that though. They did get what the password was, so that was cool. Um, I've just set it up so that the door stays open. I want to know where that creeper is. That would be great. I think it's under here somewhere, but I really can't be bothered trying to find him. But yes, as I was saying, I've gotten fired up again. I want to possibly start setting up my, uh, my farms. I think that might be a good idea. I still need to figure out where everything else is going. But you may have noticed this tunnel. Yeah, so that's starting to get set up. That's kind of cool. Uh, and what I'm figuring is that if I f figure out how to, well, what I'm doing with these corners, I may, I'm not completely sure yet, I may end up moving like this entryway like back over here as it was and just like ignoring these corners because they just kind of mess up my, um, my nice little thing here. Now, another important thing, um, uh, in terms of like what we were calling this, as in like Project Bond or Project Batman, I'm Batman, um, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> nervous tick, anyway, uh, <laughs> they, it basically came down to what you guys had said, which was, um, if you want this to be more technological, it's probably going to have to be the Bond, or Project Bond, but, like, if it's going more fighty, like, having everything all set up and whatnot, I don't know, Bruce Wayne is quite rich, but, like, it's not all secret gadgetry secretness. So, I don't know, he's just, oh, except for the fact that he's Batman, like, it's, I don't know, he's not got secret hidden passages. Oh, no, he does, doesn't he? He's got one behind the library. I don't know. Um, basically, it's still, it's still up for discussion for now. So, here we go. This is going to be towards the farms. We might as well put that down here. Uh, two farms. We'll be removing these signs at some point. But here's what I was thinking. It would go along here, opens up a little bit. I'm probably going to put glass blocks here. And the idea is that, you know, it opens up to this little passage. And then you go down here like so. I'll have some half slabs too. And um, then you'll be coming into this little room. And I'm not quite sure how I want to do this, like, but I'll have a rubber tree farm in this direction. And what that will do is it will just have like maybe nine different trees. I'm not really sure. One, two, oh, hang on. 
One, two, three. Hmm. I might have a room about this big and it will have enough trees in it anyway to kind of, you know, have their own amount of spacing. And then in the center I'll have a rubber harvester so that will pop stuff out and then they'll flow down like a water channel into an obsidian pipe and then it will end up going into a chest in here maybe. I haven't quite decided how I want to do a storage room yet so we'll figure that out later. Um, then we'll just have a normal farm off in that direction, uh, a tree farm in that direction. And everything should be fine. I'm just hoping that I've got enough room, because... I know... I it, This is one of the naturally spawning, like, little cave rooms, so... Here's hoping. Um, also, that it's going to have to go down. I want, like, a glass wall here, and all... You should be able to see, like, all the farms from here. From this little room. But you shouldn't be able to go into them. I think I'll have, like, a maintenance shaft or something to get in there. But, yes, like, I just want you to be able to see what's happening in each of the different farms, but everything automatically comes to here anyway. Oops. Uh, where's my sword? Do you like my sword, sword, my diamond sword, sword? Come on, dude. Ahaha, <laughs> you just pissed off the zombie. Oh, do you not get... Wow, okay. That was interesting. Maybe it's one of those evil zombies. Um, angry zombies, that's what they're called. There we go, so we'll cut this off. Um, I'm finding that these little caves here make for a lot int or a lot more interesting, uh, you know, uh, Bond cave development. Bat cave! Urgh. I don't remember the bat cave being that large, either. But then I don't actually remember Bond having a cave at all, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll get there. Anyway, so I've carried on for about 7 minutes, probably about 7 minutes 15. Uh, what I want to start doing now is um, we'll start making the things, okay? That sounds like a good idea to me. And in order to do that, we are going to need to create a few things. So we'll go back to our first base. Our underground basement. <laughs> well, that's technically what a basement is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dip. Okay, uh... Ooh. I like coming back here and seeing this. It's like, yeah! 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 <laughs> right, um... Other things, other things to talk about. I've got a few now. A few things to talk about. Uh, one of them... I've been playing quite a bit of Supercraft Bros, not gonna lie, it is a fun game. Um, the first like initial set of derpiness where um, you know the games weren't always starting, that was like the very first episode when I was hosting it on my computer. That was to do with like them not getting the connection fast enough, like because I'm my upload speed is too slow. So that's why the games kind of kept derping around. But I think I edited most of that out. Um, but I played some more today and it was fun. So fun. Okay. Um, right, so what do we need to create? We needed a carpenter, I think. So where is our carpenter? There it is. So we need some bronze ingots, sturdy casing, and glass. Well, we have tons of everything, so... Uh, I don't like that they changed the copper ingots in here, in this texture pack. Ah. Uh, I thought these were sapphires for a second, I was like, whoa, I've got a lot of sapphires, but no. I only have almost two. Keep using all the green sapphires. Um, right, so we've got copper, I think it's copper for three, and then tin for how much? Silver? Why does silver look, silver looks too close to tin? I may end up having to edit this, um, this thing. One, two, three. That's a lot of copper to be using on this. Maybe I won't use as much. Um, oh, I still need to clear out my inventory. Forgive me this. Uh, so cobble, cobble, dirt, gravel, fence, oak, uh, near the bricks and the glass. Get rid of the fences, tin, blue zychromium, flint, string, zombie brain. And may as well put the filled tin cans there. I've got enough food. Right, okay. So here we go, get the stuff out of the way, bam, one, two, three, put 
put you there, put this guy here. Bronze ingots. So maybe we'll just make about a stack of this and we'll see how we go. Uh, then after that, we did say it was the sturdy casing, didn't we? So let's get out two of these for now. And then let's see the rest of the recipe. There is a chicken in here somewhere. And I've been looking for him again and again, and I can't find him. I have no clue where he is. I figure he's like under the floor somewhere and I've covered it up. Or like up here somewhere. But I don't know. Hmm. There must be like a cave where I've sealed one up in there. Uh, right, so we got that. Then we needed our glass and... I want the other type of bronze, the other type of, oh wait, no, that's the right one. I'm just talking about the colors. Um, right, so we need some more glass, because I'm using this one. Machines, bam, bam, thank you ma'am. And then bronze, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez, I don't need to make two of them, okay. So there's one carpenter. <sighs> good, 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 good. Um, Still need to figure out where to place everything. The problem is that I don't have like a designated machine or processing area. And without that, um, everything kind of just gets bundled up here in the middle. So I could actually turn these back on now I think about it. Um, click you there. Click you there, and click you, sir. Oops. Right, meow. Cool. So these guys will start going again. I turned it off because I wasn't actually using all the power, so it was just being a waste. Right, so that'll start charging back up. I need more cable to run along. Let's see. <laughs> so much space, um, or rather lack of space that is messing with me. There we go. So how are we going to do this? Uh, I don't like this at all. I don't like how cramped it feels. Um, so we'll put you right here. Why not? Then this guy still needs water, which I don't believe I've set one of those things up yet. Maybe we'll do that later. Uh, not today. Um, so carpenter, then we also needed the thermionic fabricator. Other things I want to make is um, some IC2 power stuff, so maybe I'll make like a mini episode where I just make a whole bunch of crap. Uh, geothermal, thermionic fabricator, and a chest. So we'll get out one of our nice lovely chests. I have like a healing balloon that's like lost the will to fly. It's just, you know, it's been living a long time and it's just lost the will. I kind of feel sorry for it. Um, so, that, then, glass here, and here, and, fantastic. Oh, maybe not. Copper, sturdy casing. Oh wait, no, it's, didn't, did it say copper? No. Oh, gold! See, bron- uh, okay. As much as I like this texture pack, if I can't, if the stuff is just too confusing for me to look at, then, you know, screw that. Okay, here we go. Back into the world, without our texture pack. Uh, it looks boring. <laughs> it looks so boring compared to, okay. But I do like the way that copper looks in this one, so. Actually, we'll leave that there. And our gold. I have surprisingly large amounts of gold on the server. I always get surprised whenever I come on here. <sighs> okay. Two and a half and a half. Bam. Now this guy needs lots of glass. He needs glass to live. And um, that's maybe a problem. But you can see that he's getting powered now, so that should be fine. This is just like how much heat it can get, and since it's pumping out like 100 Minecraft joules per tick, uh, well, if it can, then um, actually that might be a bad idea. 
What happens when you get to full? I'm not sure. Oh well, um, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Might just have to remove him if he starts stealing stuff. Oh, excuse me. Lots of burping and I can't help it. Right, so we've got these two now. Um, what I need to do is waste a whole bunch of diamonds in one of them, unfortunately. Now, we've got our nice lovely tree farm there. We need a normal farm. We need a... <laughs> I was going to say we need an arboretum, but we don't need an arboretum. We need the farm. Uh, so bronze electron tubes, which is bronze, obviously, and some redstone. So let's get out some redstone. Bam. Oh, I like having the barrels there. That is good. Lots good. Okay, um, so that, and, oh, that's right. That's the problem that I had last time. I just didn't know where to put all the items. Okay. Um, and you're not even the right one at all. Is it thermionic fabricator that I needed that? Yep. There we go. So, what happens? I think this is one where you need, like, at least one set of the items in order for it to... Yeah. And then bronze. And then glass. Okay, so that does work like that. I thought it might try and steal some more, um my thing but maybe not if that liquid glass is staying there does it drain I hope it doesn't right so we got that uh, we've got three then a small circuit board which is crafted in here which means that the tin that we got out is actually gonna need to be used small circuit board redstone take that out bam bam Ooh, bam 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 Bam, bam, bam. Bam, ba -da bam, ba -da bam, bam. I need water. <clears throat> that was me doing, ah, doing a zombie. Right, where is my bucket? I want my bucket. I always feel sick sometimes when I do that. Ah, oh, damn it, I need to change that door back open. There it is. I have a bucket, guys, don't panic. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Traveling through the different worlds so quickly. We <laughs> Okay. Um, it's taking a long time for me to do the simple amount of work, which is kind of bad. I'm not quite the fan of how long this is taking. <sighs> but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, nice, lovely water bucket. Uh, look at that. So that guy's done. Um, oh. Uh, Shh. Stupid. Stupid pipes, I hate them. Right, there we go. Small circuit board. Um, if I take this out, is it going to try to produce another one? No. Okay, that's good. Ran out of water anyway, so it's fine. Um, so, small circuit board. Lovely. So, we've got that. We've got the farm. It's got the sturdy casing. No, we don't. Put that out there, then put this there, circle that, put that there, put like that, 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 boom, boom, boom. That goes there, and then bronze, probably around it. Oh, <laughs> glass around it, okay. Oops, I moved it. Moved it, guys, I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Farm. Oh, that was a lot of effort for such a small amount of work. Um... Infernal farms. That's right, you can use these in something. What can you use these for? Oh, we use these for foresters. Ow. What's that for? <laughs> I'm asking a skeleton, hey, why'd you hit me? Ow. Stop it. Okay. And I noticed, like, at another point that the charge station doesn't actually charge your things. I know it doesn't charge redstone energy cells, that would be silly, but for, like, things like, I don't know, drills and whatnot, or like electric jetpacks, it doesn't charge those, which I find quite odd, quite odd indeed. Now let's check our power, I want to see if, are you still dropping? You are, why? You cost a certain amount of power, don't you? Um, well I can do this actually, I can stop you getting power. Liquid glass stayed there, so that's nice. And that's getting power again, okay. That was interesting. Um, 
slowly dropping. We're going to lose that if we're um, too slow. I'll leave it on for now. Uh, what did I need? I needed a till. No, not a still. What's the um the crop harvester? Is it a harvester? <laughs> it is a harvester. I am silly. Rubber tree harvester. That's not what you want to do. Um, actually, you want a normal one. Why can't I see it? Infernal sugarcane. I don't want to create it from a logger, that's silly. Cacti harvester. <sighs> now I'm going to have to look for the item, it's such a hassle. Combine, there we go. I knew it was something. Everyone's got to be something. Right. Right. One, two, three, four, five, put that there, I need my redstone, give me that back, put that there, put this up here, and only then does that go away. That was unusual, it didn't have any glass there. Oh well. Iron electron tubes, lovely, and I'm assuming glass goes here, and we're going to need another sturdy casing, which I, I derped out on and forgot. Um, bronze goes meow, this goes meow, and let's see, combine, and another small circuit board, so that's pretty easy. Yay, 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 sorry, sorry, couldn't help it. I've been doing that a lot more recently, and it's not good, not good at all, right, grab out another bucket of water, we can pump that straight into our thingamajig, Put that right in here. Bam, so he's cooking. Small circuit boards. I want to learn how to program these, because apparently you can do other things with them, like um, make your electric engines like more reliable. Which would be great, so that this guy uses less power. Um, no fuel, apparently, but you do have fuel, you just don't need to actually pump anything. Right, so we've got our combine and farm, so that's cool. Uh, and we're already at 22 minutes, so, hmm, maybe, <laughs> I wasted a bunch of time on that, so I am sorry, um, I am going to go and fix some things, and we'll get started in a second. And just letting you guys know that I am creating the tree tap, which is like the, um, oh, which is going to, you know, harvest our nice lovely trees outside. I can actually give you a demonstration of what it does, now that I've got these guys out here. Um, this is essentially what I'm going to be doing, except, like, these guys are going to stay in the air and underneath is going to be water. Um, I'll pop this guy, oh, I didn't actually make it, there we go, tree tap, and we'll grab out one of these, put that back up there, oh, no, I want that, I don't want this, right. So this guy goes here, he's pretty cool, he will, uh make these things spit their goodies out, so if I go like this, look at that, look at that beauty, okay, so what happens when, is it when you finally get to full, I've never actually used one of these before, so it's going to be interesting, yep, look at that, okay, surely you can go faster, lazy shit, excuse my language, um, children watch this show, hmm, <laughs> You should be going a lot faster. I don't understand. You're connected to power. You, you're not even draining anything. What is wrong with you? Huh. Tell you what, let's move you over here. Then I'm just doing some testing here. So you output and you output it good. Or do you only take a certain amount of power anyway? Do you not take more than... What? That's weird. Oh. I suppose being slower means that it gives, like, the rest of them time to... I don't know, re-get their stuff back. But that's just odd to me. I could leave this guy here for ages and just not have to worry. 
Let's see, what do you spit out? Where, where are you spitting it out from? Did that even look like it came out from anything? I can't see the spot where it might have come out from. Again, that's odd. Oh well, um... But anyway, you, you kind of get the idea there. This guy's just going to make things spit out. It will go into a water channel. That water channel will go to obsidian. Um, or obsidian transport pipe. Which will pump it back into the rest of the things that we're using. And since I've got the sticky resin. Um, I can't actually see my timer. Hang on. There we go. Since I've got the uh, sticky resin. I always get scared whenever I hear one of those. It's too much time playing um, Vex maps. Anyway, uh, so now that we've got some sticky resin, we'll be able to do some IC2 power stuff. And since we've got unlimited of it, I'm not really worried about using extractors. So, bam, take that, peoples. Yeah. Sirs, how do you feel? Uh, and off camera, I'm going to be making... Oh, wait, no, this is everything, isn't it? I've already got the tree farm. I'm going to have to set up other stuff off camera, but that's going to have to wait for another day. Um, since we've still got a few minutes left, I want to make like jetpacks and things, because I am running out of power very quickly. Well, not running out of power. That doesn't even make sense. Um, I am finding it a lot harder to get around places sometimes. Not really, but I, I want this. Okay, don't worry. Bat box and copper cable and RE batteries, so that's fine. Uh, can I get some RE batteries? That would be great. So 10 around there, then this guy up here, then how many did you say that you took? Three. Okay, so we've got enough of four. But we've got three of them here, so there we go. Then, let's see, bat box, we needed wood, and the last one of these, that's fine. Um, we're losing wood. Oh no. Uh, I have so much stuff in my inventories. I don't like it. So, was it like that? That just doesn't seem right. Yeah, no, of course it's not right. That's why. Okay, um, then this guy goes here. Fantastic. Yeah, I may as well turn the rest of that into that. Bam! Okay, so we've got the bat box. Then we need refined iron, glowstone, and advanced circuits. Now, oh, I do have that. Um, refined iron, glowstone, and advanced circuits. I need to start putting some stuff away, because this is starting to piss me off now. Uh, we can go back in there. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need half of you, which won't really matter in the greater scheme of things. Don't need the farms. Don't need the electron tubes. Don't need the bread. Don't really need the carrots, but I'll keep the carrots just in case. Okay, right. Now back to it. Uh, electric jetpack. We still need to craft the advanced circuit, which requires the normal circuit, which means that we're going to need to create more of uh, the stuff using this. And we're going to machines. Seems that I've used them all. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I can go there. This, 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 this. Eh. Right. Copper ingots. Yay. And then these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, how many did I need? Oh, only six. Okay. I should know this, really, after all this time playing it. Um, playing this game. It has a name, but we don't know what it is. Ingots. Doesn't seem like we have any refined iron. So let's smelt up a little bit more of that just because we can. And then what else can I get ready? Um, lapis is something else that I need. I have a lot of lapis. I didn't realize that. Um, then after that, we still need some more redstone. Um, may as well just borrow that one. And need another four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we take one of these, we pop them right there. 
craft this guy, put him here, that guy goes up here, uh, glowstone, top and bottom, these guys in the corners, and this guy on the side. Fantastic. So he goes here, these guys go over here, refined iron for four, plus glowstone, and bat box. Um, Yay! <laughs> I am happy about that. Um, again, charge station. Don't you think a good... Like, why why do you have that hole there? I don't understand. Is that for, like, a battery that you want to put in there so it will charge the turtles? You know, it, bleh. I know it works in the geothermal generator, so we'll leave that in there. Um, that's going to take a while, though. Whew, that is going to take a long while. But it's fine, when we set up our power area, we'll have charge stations. There's some really cool things in here. Ah, oh, you should see them. What are they called? Static? Static pads? Um, where are you? There you are. Crystallizer charge pad. So this one uses an MFE. Actually, you can be upgraded, can't you? Yeah, Lapitronic charge pad. So you just stand on one of these things, and it will charge like pretty much everything on you, if I've got that right. I don't know if I have. But man, that would be cool. It'd be so cool. Um, now I forgot about this guy. Um, we'll turn you off. Because right now I don't need to worry about liquid glass. Uh, come on! Come on! And if only I had enough time to make a solar panel. But I think I'll give up on that for today. I oh, know we, we did a little bit of work. We crafted a bunch of things. I showed you where and what I want things to, or where I want things to be and how I want them to look and whatnot. Um, and yes, yes, indeed. Take you off. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh dear. So we can just go like this. We Hello, JK. Oh, got my footsies wet. No, no. <laughs> uh, and since I've like can come all the way down here quite easily, I should just be able to um, get rid of this lot. Um, this lot here. But that 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 can wait. I don't actually need any more resources right now, so it's fine. That's why I took everything out of the tunnels. But I want to thank you guys. I have enjoyed myself today. I'm feeling much better than I was. Um, maybe you'll be able to tell. <sighs> I was hoping that that wasn't going to break um, and like not give me the item. That would have been great. So then all I have to do is while I'm pushing space, I um, I push M while I'm holding space, and it'll let me go up slower, which isn't necessarily good, but it lets you not spares out the whole time which is nice uh, so let's turn that off anyway thank you guys so much for uh, coming around it was nice it was good to see you the next episode I believe will be uh, hopefully moving all of our machines well not all of them raisins that's right people that was the password good <laughs> um, yes so Next episode, we'll be probably trying to place out or like marking out the areas for each of the places. This dirt floor is going to get changed to something else. I'm probably going to try and change a lot more of the blocks. Um, this is going to get turned into glass, or at least a good amount of it, maybe from here onwards. You'll be able to like look in and see. Um, same for this. And maybe we'll see if we can start re uh, moving our rubber trees. I have a few rubber tree saplings after placing those guys. So that will be fine. Um, um, but yeah, I might actually just place the chunk loader and then we will end our episode. So right here, we'll go up because we want it in the center of our base. Look at that, just a random piece of obsidian. <laughs> Radius 10 because you know we want to use up all that memory. Let's see, how much is it loading? It's gone over a gigabyte now. Of memory being used. Yeah, it's still rising. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! I know where the chicken is, guys.
Remember that chicken that we ended up putting behind here? <laughs> All I had to do was turn on the entity's radar to actually find the damn guy. But there we go. 